Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. So in the previous video or in the previous lecture, when you are trying to create a subclass <clears throat> from the final class, you are not able to create. But if the class is not final, are you able to create a subclass? Now you can see there is no error. I am able to create a subclass from this class one. Class two is my child class or subclass. Class one is my parent class or super class. <clears throat> and this method display of super class is automatically accessible in this class too. This is a major advantage of inheritance. There is no need to define the method again. That method will come automatically into child classes. If you remember, when we learned this process with the global classes, we pass the name of the super class here. The super class has the method display. It automatically appeared into child class. Same thing is here itself. Now, we will try to call this method. I will write start of selection event. Whenever we will click on the execute button, start of selection event will call. Now, our method is a instance method. It means I have to declare the object. So I will declare the object. Hello underscore object type ref2. I will write class2. Because this method display is now the automatically the part of class two also. You can declare additional methods also, not an issue. But this method display is now accessible by class two also. So for the better understanding, I am creating a object of subclass. I will write create object object <clears throat> the object is created now we will call the method object as it is a instance method i will pass hyphen and this greater than key what is the method display now we all know Whenever we will call the method, all will interchange. Import will convert to export and export will convert to import. Exporting pvbeln is equal to p underscore vbeln and I will write now importing. Importing per dat is equal to lv underscore er dat p e r num p e r z d t is equal to lv underscore er z d t p e r num is equal to lv underscore er num p v b type is equal to lv underscore v b type I will declare these four variables data lv underscore er dat lv underscore er num lv underscore vp type first I'll declare lv underscore er zdt and then I will declare lv underscore vp type I'll check the syntax and now we all know if I want to 
display the output i can write with the help of write statement if i want to print the output lb underscore er dat lb underscore er zdt lb underscore er num and lb underscore bb type i'll check the syntax and i will activate so what we learned in this particular video so far how you can achieve the inheritance so from the class 1 we created class 2 i'll put a break point and we will understand i will put a break point and we will see the execution i am passing a sales document number and you can see calling of the method is on 39 number 38 number line the object is created whenever i will do f5 and you can see it is calling the method display and you can easily see method display is in class 1 i just inherited or i just created a sub class from this i'll say parent class i created the object of child class only but we are able to call the code which is in your parent class so simply whatever is in your parent class it's automatically accessible by child class also so it will fetch the data and this is now the output of these particular four columns and now i will execute so in this particular video we learned the concept of inheritance how you can make sub classes from the super class or the parent class the main benefit is reusability there is no need to define the things again you can use the existing things plus you can go for your additional things also suppose in this case i just reuse the method display but i can create my additional methods also in the sub class so that's it in this particular video next topic will continue in the next video thank you